Hey everybody, if you're on the outside of this live, come on in. We are on the public page, so feel free to share this live in other places. I am a loner tonight, but let's see if we can get some people up in here. <clears throat> okay, so I have two screens going, Watch Party and the original live. And again, um, if you are on the original live, which we I am broadcasting from the main Autism in Us page, you feel free to share. If you are in the Watch Party, you won't be able to share. Um, because it's inside the group and because of the settings. So I'm here by myself tonight because Linda is on her way to Japan. Um, but I welcome anyone who wants to uh, join me tonight. Okay. Let's see that. And make sure so... If you're in here, say hello. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Nita. I am one of the admins of this wonderful establishment. And we come here every Sunday night to do a Let's Talk Autism Live session. Um, it's all about parents helping parents. So I'm just the host. I'm a parent just like most of you with a loved one on the spectrum. So you can throw your questions, your suggestions out there in the chat. Um, if you're a parent who can answer or help or have a suggestion, please feel free to chime in and answer the question a parent may have. <coughs> and, um, and as I said, I'm alone tonight, so feel free to um, ding me if you'd like to join me on live screen tonight no coffee for me right now drinking water so only problem i'm having right now is this dog on watch party because it will not for some reason let me scroll see if i can okay um Hey, Sandra, Shantae, and Linda. Okay, and once again, if... Hey, Sonia. Um, I have two screens open, so we have watch party going on in the support group. Um, actually, I need to share this. Uh, let me see. In the other group. So just in case. Here we go. All right. Uh, hey, Sandra, you said tolerance is vital, but hard to balance. Okay, let me see if I'm able. I don't know why the watch party does, does that. So, okay, we can get started. Um, if anyone has any questions, you can share your day, um, what, what you've been doing, you have any questions, uh, I don't know why this thing won't come down. Ooh. Okay. Anyway. Nobody? 
Okay, who is this sharing something in the comments here? Let's not uh, do any um, links in here, please. Neil Fidels. is did I say your name right? Hey Shannon, I can't. Let's see, see all. Uh, how can I do this? You guys, I'm trying to. Um. Okay, I see a link in the watch party, and I can't get to it. So, um, you need to remove that, because we're not going to um, do any of the links today. I'm not sure why this watch party is acting up. I may have to, because it does that, did that earlier, won't let me... Scroll. So anyway, uh, I heard your parents from. Um, no, this is not what this is about. Uh, ne neophytus. What? What are you referring to? We're not coming here to promote. We're coming to help each other without we can suggest that later but you just came in posting a link was that you and see i can't get to it right now okay well so you need to save that until we get into the discussion yeah save your save your link and then till we get into the discussion that's one of my pet peeves is when, you know, people come right in and um, do that without introducing themselves. And that may be the case, but still, I am an autism mom of two toddlers and I could really use some advice. Okay. Um, be specific. Be specific. Um, what kind of advice? Can you use? You have two toddlers. I have a 13-year-old. Hey, Michelle. And Michelle has a couple toddlers, too, so she may be able to chime in on that. Okay, let me, you guys, um, this watch party is, wait, maybe I may have to. Yes. I'm going to have to try to get on my other phone here because this watch party, I can't even. Give me a minute for the watch party, you guys, because for some reason, Facebook doesn't want me to be great this evening. And I can't see Every time someone scrolls, I don't even have a scroll bar right here. Let me see. Don't even let me scroll. Hey, Deck Queen. My five-year-old. Oh, you have a screamer. Give me a minute. Uh, the watch party is acting up for me. I'm trying to um, find a way to be able to scroll. Maybe I can see it this way. Oh, my goodness. Facebook just don't want me to be great. Okay, give me a second, you guys. Uh, Sonia says, Queen got bit by a spider. Oh, no. She, is she okay? Give 
Give me a second if you're in the watch party. Because for some reason, Facebook, I can see on the actual live, but uh, I cannot scroll in that watch party. So I'm getting ready to see if I can do it on the outside. Okay, this may be a little better. Um, and 63 comments, but it still won't let me scroll. Okay, let me go here. Hey, Kenyana. Okay, I'm going back and forth. I'm trying to work with this watch party, but it's not letting me scroll. So when your comments are going up, I lose them. So... And I'm going back and forth. I do have the actual live playing in the group. So if you want to jump over there, feel free. And let's see. Okay, so Sonia, you said Queen got bit by a spider. Now she hates me. Oh, and you know what? I got bit by a spider the other day right on my back too oh hopefully she'll be okay probably um scared her hey mark she's fine good good oh okay hey sarah um uh, my five-year-old is scream oh i said <laughs> oh okay anyone else have a screamer Maybe they can give Sarah some tips. Mary, I have it. Hi, Mary. I have a 13-year-old on the spectrum and am dealing with hormones and all that other stuff. The child. Mary, I know exactly what you are referring to. I have a 13-year-old son. So, yeah, I, I truly understand. I haven't started dealing with the... Um, the trying to be that alpha male thing but yeah other issues hey andrea oh lost it darn it victoria um if any of the uh moderators are in the watch party if you could kind of help me out because i can't scroll so if you see any Every time the questions go up, for some reason, it won't let me scroll to catch them. I don't know why Facebook is acting like that. Kenyana wants to know what kind of spider um, Sonia. My son, hey Melissa, my son is five years old. And he's nonverbal. He doesn't throw tantrums anymore. The CBD oil would really work on a nonverbal child. I've heard different reviews with non, um, not nonverbal, but about CBD oil. Just like with anything else, some it will work for and some it may not. Then it would depend on. Um, the amount or dosages you give. But if it's working for yours, that's really great. And Mary says alpha male stuff. Yuck. But it but it's a good sign with respect to a milestone on the price. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, Neo... Neo, I'll just call you Neo, says, I saw weighted blankets in the market. Perhaps sensory pressure may help. Now, who is that uh, going towards? Because I can't scroll. Facebook is just not letting me be great. And I see 81 comments. Uh, I don't understand. Let me see. Maybe if I do it this way. Nope, it won't let me be great. So I'm going to apologize to the ones in the watch party right now because unfortunately I... Oh, no, this is the regular one. 
Okay, Victoria, Victoria says Declan screams. So she has a, a screamer also. <clears throat> the thing is, we know his triggers and we work with them, but it's all about him saying I'm mad and not getting what I want and just wants to make noise. Yeah. Yeah, when he doesn't get his way, just the um the tantrum thing. He's probably just going through that phase. I want, I want. Oh, Daniel's quiet, Kenyana. Okay, see, I have a lot going on in the watch party, but man, this is terrible. Uh, I am trying. Let's see, if, maybe if I do full screen, that doesn't work. Shantae John. Oh, and I can't scroll. See, it went up on me. Let me see if I can get this other phone on. This is terrible. Facebook, you got to do better. Hey, Madison, how are you? Hey, Sonia, would you like to come on? with me live and say hello i'm trying to um the ones in the watch party because you guys are popping over there boy but i can't even scroll i'm trying to get on this other phone and see he makes lots of noises but he doesn't scream deandre likes noises too kenyana i don't know if you ever heard him in the background oh my god engine noises that's his uh favorite thing um and they can go on and on and on and sometimes it's just like oh no uh let's see here let me go here Trying to get into the watch party. Because you guys, I see so many things. Please be patient. The actual live is up, but I can see those great. But um, I'm not sure why the watch party is acting like that. Hi, Lisa. Sh Shannon, I will check back in soon. Bath time. Okay. Thank you for popping in, Shannon. Lisa, a high first time watching 20 year autism paraprofessional out of Santa Ana, California. Well, welcome. Welcome. Um, we are, of course, this is open discussion about autism, anything autism goes. Um, right now, I'm having issues with the watch party. I have two screens open. So I have the actual live, and you are in the watch party. So every time someone starts talking, it scrolls up on me, and I can't catch it. But I'm trying to see if um, I can catch it on the phone. I can see the, uh, the uh, other live that's... It's doing okay. Uh, let's see here. 
One second, guys. Um, if anybody's asking, please, parents, feel free to chime in if you have any suggestions while I'm trying to locate. It's always something. If Facebook doesn't kick you off, I can't get in the watch party. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, here we go. Your autism paraprofessional out of sin. All right, let's see if this is better. Okay, now I can scroll. <clears throat> Not all the way up, though. Okay. Shanti says, Michelle, your three-year-old is nonverbal right now, but your child will learn to communicate with you. Yes, it takes time. Definitely does. Definitely does. Um, my son was nonverbal for years, and he's he just started saying words a couple years ago, and this year he's starting to say sentences. Still, some things we can't understand, but he's getting there. Um. Thank you so much, Shante, for, um, Shanti, I hope I'm saying that right, for chiming in. Still trying to make sure. Oh, Mary says, son is making a checkered cake by himself today. Oh, wow. Okay, he likes the kitchen, huh? Michelle says, Jace is just busy, busy. But I'm working with him on motor skills and get him to sit. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, I had a busy body too. Um, hey, Mark, and how are you? Uh, Madison, I'm here. I'm Grandma. I wrote you just now. Okay, Madison. Um, Mark, how are you this Oh, it's late night for you, right? After 11 o'clock. Yeah, that's true, Neil. A lot nonverbal can become verbal. I am a witness to that. I'm a witness to that. And that was through just um, constantly talking to him and... Uh, therapy speech helped speech therapy helped as well as ABA because my son was totally mute for years and just a couple years ago he started to say a few words mm. Tammy says we try to redirect his behavior but he just gets mad and starts hitting and if I try to just ignore his behavior he will start pulling his hair a while and biting himself and one of the biggest problems one of the biggest problems is my two-year-old is nonverbal as well but loves to make noises all kinds but the five-year-old will start screaming and start hitting his little ball oh. Yeah, I guess it's the frustration of not um, really being able to express himself. Is he in um, therapy, the five-year-old? I'm scrolling, so if you're saying something, I'm trying to catch up with the watch party, and I missed it. So, Tammy, is he in some sort of therapy?
Hey, Tatiana. Tatiana says, how are you feeling about having a job with autism spectrum? Are you asking, how do I feel about those on the spectrum working? I, I think that's a good thing if they're able to do it. Yes, it's a beautiful thing. They shouldn't be held back just because of them being on the spectrum. So speaking, okay. Michelle asks, any tips on getting my three-year-old nonverbal to interact with children besides his siblings? I had that issue too, Michelle, for a long while. My son would just, and even now, I think it's that, you know, um, social thing um uh, my my son only really interacted with those that were around all the time i think once he gets in school um once they get into their play groups um that'll help and uh, maybe taking them along with play dates sometimes it might take a while but eventually just keep going and um He'll get there once he gets used to others being around. Sometimes, but sometimes even now, my son, he's 13, and he he's good by himself. Now, lately, um, he will interact with other children at the um, center. Hey, Pam. Hey, Brandy. Brandy says, anyone else experience trouble Trouble with siblings and teenagers with autism. When you say trouble, what do you what do you mean? Okay, and Victoria says might want headphones for the screamer, so the little one's noises don't bother the older one as much. That's a good idea. So that was uh, Tammy, um, Victoria. Are you? I'm in. A, I got to make sure because she's over here. Um, Victoria says <clears throat> a suggestion would be to get headphones for um, the five-year-old. So the little one's noise doesn't bother the older one as much. She's on the actual live. Um, so, yeah, that may be an idea. Yes. Yes, Stella, definitely have her stay at it. Uh, Madison says my baby is nonverbal too. He's getting help, but need information, weekend activities for Austin. Can you send me some information? Can someone help me? What type of uh, weekend activities? And Austin... Uh, Nonverbal. He's getting help with information. Um, what type of things you mean, like um, social things where you can interact with other kids? Um, because I mean, there's lots they can do as long as they can tolerate the environment around them. Um, well, we can't say the zoo now is starting to get cold. Where are you located at, Madison? Michelle's. Oh. Victoria says, Michelle, mine is the same. He will not interact with others and he completely shuts down around us. So, Michelle, um, Victoria, she says hers, her baby is the same. He will not interact with others and he completely shuts down. Yeah, because that's, that was the same way with um, DeAndre. But around his siblings and his niece, um, He's okay, but other kids, it took him a while, and every now and then, he'll kind of play, or he'll turn around and ignore them. Okay. Della! Yep, everyone's telling Michelle to keep at it. No, 
No, ma'am. No, not yet. We just, okay. And have to get reestablished. Okay. Probably once um, he gets in some kind of uh, uh, behavior therapy, doesn't necessarily have to be ABA. I love ABA, but some kind of therapy that'll work with him on that, then it'll help tone it down. But as Victoria said, for the meantime, the um, earphones, headphones may may help. Pam says, listening, I had to run to McDonald's. Ralph won't eat his dinner. Yeah, I had one of those moments. Was that yesterday? The Andre didn't want to eat what I cooked. So... Shante says, find out, oh, replying to Lisa, find out what is making her upset. She's upset about something. Yes. Della says, the nonverbal kids that make noises can turn into noise, I mean, to words. Yes, eventually, yes, definitely. Don't, don't lose the faith on that. Just keep at it. Yeah, and a lot of them rather play alone. Okay. Um, Victoria says, Michelle, this is a reply to Michelle. Oh, we said that already. <laughs> Let me uh, make sure I'm down here. Okay, I'm still in the watch party, scrolling and trying to catch up. Oh, thank you, Shanti. I appreciate you. You are on the road. Thank you. Ralph Pam says, Ralph doesn't interact with my grandkids. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think my um, DeAndre, his niece and, you know, his um, older sister. But anyone else? Mm hmm And Della says, most kids on the spectrum don't understand how to um, interact. That's true. Um, Michelle says, thanks, everyone. So, Victoria, thank you for your input. Lisa says, thank you. Shanti says, no, it doesn't sound crazy. It sounds about right. This is when you have to use positive words to correct the lyric or say nothing at all and just correct the behavior. Yes, you definitely have to. I agree with you on that, Shante. Thank you. Uh, replying to Della, should I have him around children like him, nonverbal or verbal, if you get what I mean? Michelle, you should have him around both. Um, when he gets in school, he'll probably be in a setting with both. You'll have the nonverbal and the verbal kids. And usually that may help the verbal ones, help the nonverbal ones in, in, in a way to um, speak. So I would say, I would say both. Yeah, you don't want to push them. No, no, you don't want to push them. But once they get in class, of course, you want to put them in a setting with both. Okay. I think I'm all caught up in the watch party. I think so. Thank you, everybody who's been chiming in. I appreciate you, Della. I appreciate you, Shanti and Neo. Thank you, Pamela. Aggressive fighting. Oh, aggressive fighting, lashing out at others. Does anyone have over here from the watch party? Well, from the watch party, um, does anyone have issues with a teenager um, aggressiveness and fighting? This is coming from Brandy.
Okay. Yeah, I think I'm all caught up. I, I'm not sure why Facebook won't let me scroll. I have to get on the phone, the other phone to scroll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tammy, thank you all so very much for advice. I greatly appreciate all those who have taken time to comment, reply. Time for baths and bedtime. So I got to go, but I will see. I will be back again. I appreciate awesome advice. Thank you, Tammy. Sorry it took me so long to get this thing together, but I just could not scroll. Facebook just did not want me to be great, but I'm glad others were able to chime in with some suggestions. So does anyone have um, ex experience with aggressiveness from uh, teenagers? <clears throat> Shanti says, you're very welcome. I have an 11-year-old who has ADHD and have trouble, motor skill problems. Uh-oh. Okay. Motor skill problems and be very aggressive. A four-year-old boy whose birthday is tomorrow. Well, happy early birthday to him. He is nonverbal. Last but not least, a three-year-old. Oh, you have your hands full. Who is advanced for her age. When they are together, it's like war in my house, but I'm able to maintain. All right. Yeah, you have your hands full, but that's wonderful. You're able to maintain. <clears throat> my 13-year-old, uh, he has uh, ADHD also. So he is always, always on a constant mission. Jumping, 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 and more jumping. And the noises, the noises is constant thing. And sometimes, oh my God, it drives me crazy. Um, Brandy says, oh, he's fine. So the aggressiveness happen mostly at school or does it happen both places at home and at school? Um, I think we spoke about it a couple weeks ago uh, where someone uh, would, they would, uh, they were better at school but when they were at home they sort of let out whatever they were going to let out and maybe it was because they were away from that environment and maybe felt that it's time to act right or you know or they know they can get away with certain things at home whereas it might not be that way in another environment but um I'm not sure nobody chimed in. Anyone has experience with aggressive teenagers? Sorry, had a call in case someone say anything to me. Oh, that's okay, Della. Thank you for being around in here. I appreciate that. I um I um I don't know now. Okay. So we got this open. Um, my house is soon to be 13 with autism and ADHD. And a 11, and a 11 boy and 8 year old old girl. Okay. Yeah. I have the ADHD with autism going on over here. And boy, I tell you. Anyone have any um other good suggestions? Oh, um, we always usually we always get the same question over and over. So I want to throw it out there again. 
Does anyone have any great potty training tips for those with uh, younger children um, or even the older ones that are having issues? Um, so if you have any tips, they can work with them alone at home. Please throw them out there because I've, I've had the question come at me a couple times during the week. Um, I My son still has potty training issues a little bit. He's gotten so much better, but that's because of the uh, consistency. Um, he has more trouble with uh, number two. Um, so, uh, I'm sorry, I got a pop up here. But um, if you have any tips, throw them out there. Uh, Victoria says, my kiddos are all tiny. Oh, yeah. Hey, Leslie, how are you? How are you? Thank you for co coming on. Thank you for coming on. Uh, Della says, follow up with routine. Going to the potty. Pot, <laughs> potty training is really difficult for most kids on the spectrum. Yep. Keep following up and um, being consistent. Mine's not potty trained or even started to. Yeah. Well, or have you started working with him though, right, Michelle? Has he started? He may not, just may not be ready. Okay, Shanti, oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong page here. Shanti says, my oldest is aggressive. He can be rude without knowing. He does not think before he reacts. This can be dangerous at times, especially around my four-year-old who is ASD. I had to find out what was he anger, angry about and what causes him to do these things. <clears throat> I give him better choices he can do than the ones he chooses. Also, the consequences he will deal with because of wrong choices he made. Okay, so are you one of those parents that take take away things like um, to help with that aggression? Um, what are some of the things that you do that maybe can help her? Um, Della suggests you need to work with his attention span first. Okay. Good evening. Hey, Anna. Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Good evening. Wishing you a good one, too. Cassandra says, mine's not potty trained either. How old is your baby? Um, or maybe not baby, but how old is your loved one, Cassandra? Brandy, thanks for sharing. Leslie, Grace could care less to go to the party. <laughs> Good. She's not ready, huh? Yeah, a lot of them, you got to give most of them time. They, they, they'll get there eventually. But, um, yeah, and, and when you start feeling they're ready, then it's the consistency and putting them into a routine. Um, I've seen some parents do the reward system. Like uh, if you go, you'll get your uh, iPad or um, I have something special for you. <clears throat> um, so, and then I guess it's just a, a routine thing. You show them and take them at a certain time. Um, and they just get into the routine that, that can help. But if anyone else has any other good suggestions, anything that's worked for you, worked for you, what's worked for me is the therapy. So the ABA therapy has helped 
my son out a lot. My son's 32 and still have potty issues. Sometimes it's his, him being lazy. Yeah, that could be a $2 because I know DeAndre, uh, and just today, he he went um, in his pants and he knew better because as soon as he did it, he come up to me with the little smirk on his face. And I'm like, what did you do? So now I got to get up and clean up. Other times he'll go without me having to tell him he'll just go say he'll say boo boo and go he doesn't have a problem with number one it's just that number two um but before that i will say he's done a lot better especially over the last few months because we had uh issues clean i mean clean up issues oh my god <clears throat> Marlo, yeah, see? Uh, sometimes, and then I guess sometimes you can feel, is it one of them, I, I want your attention type things or just being rebellious and I don't know. <laughs> Pam says, Ralph was potty trained at five and six. Then at seven, he stopped and still in pull-ups. Oh, wow, yeah. And you know what, Pam? Um... It's not funny, but with DeAndre, I'm figuring out it has to be some kind of comfort thing because I had to throw away his pull-ups because he didn't want to let them go. He didn't get out of pull-ups until he was 11. And if I bring pull-ups back in the house right now, he would prefer those over his underwear. He's been forced to wear the underwear, and I think it was... I don't know. I guess it's just like that. Um, what would you call it? Um, it's another word for being comforted. But he diapers, and he has this thing too. If he sees uh, diapers, diaper commercials, he gets he lights up. Like I really want one of those. <clears throat> uh, Michelle, off topic. For potty training, but when Jace goes to school, don't an aide change them? Now, with that, Michelle, you have to make sure that's part of his um his plan. Um, they and depending on I've I've heard on this on these lives where where parents have actually had issues with uh, teachers and aides changing their children. But with me, I, I guess I was lucky to have found a, a teacher and parents that w would work with them. They had classroom full of little kids at the time when he started. So they worked with them, but it was also part of his plan. Not, not potty trained. Um, he would need to be potty trained. So they did a good job. Just make sure when you talk to to them at whatever school he goes to or whenever you have a meeting you make sure you let them know you know um, um in a preschool kindergarten setting they shouldn't have any issues with that mark says my son is nine and still in nappies nappies i like that word nappies <laughs> he has no feeling we have tried to put him on the toilet. So has the school. We think when it comes, it comes. It's it's a hard one. Yeah, yeah. He's not. Um. So you're saying he has no feeling. Has no feeling. He he knows that he has to go, or he's just not ready. Um, uh, Mark. Uh, let's see who's hey Veronica working lady um Leslie says ones that get potty trained in the daytime how do you do overnight anybody have now um I will tell you but I did Leslie I would get him up at like one o'clock in the morning to go to the bathroom but you have to be consistent if I did not get him up, he would wet the bed. 
Now, this was when I took away the um, pull-ups. Before, I would just let them sleep through the night in the uh, pull-up. <coughs> but um, you may have to do that. I don't know. Anybody else have any ideas about nighttime potty training? Anna Moy says, I have a cousin has that and they say his brain doesn't react to danger like other people so we have to be his warning system and tell him no it's dangerous okay what if, what are you referring to I don't see who you're responding to Pam says I've been thinking about doing just Taking them away. Because I had to do that. I, I mean, because I had to. And then, because he was in three households. And what I mean by that. Grandma, of course, is going to baby him. So, she always kept a stash. If the baby wanted a pull-up. the ba Even though he was like 11 years old at the time. The baby wanted a pull-up. The baby was going to get it. And then, daddy. <clears throat> then, you know me, I, so I was the first one to say, no more. Everybody throw them away. But yeah, I could be hard. Okay, and he knew he, he, uh, oh, this is uh, returning to Marlo. And he knew he screwed up because he had his pants down, indications he had to go use it. Once we got in there, he kept looking at me like, go pee, but. His look changed like, oh, no, she's going to be mad because he pooped on himself. So, yeah, they know. They know once they do it, they know because DeAndre, he gives that look too. like, yeah, I did it. And uh oh, but you knew you did it. You knew. Yeah, didn't he do good, Leslie? It, that was the awesome video, too. He was just enjoying himself while mommy was working. <laughs> he did really good. Yep, okay, just one. Yeah, make sure you uh, let them know, Michelle. And make sure you tell them that you'd like that to be part of his plan. Uh, Shantae. Shanti, yes, I am. I removed the items. Okay. I removed the items he loves the most. Okay. When he shows me better reaction, I give them back. Give him back the item. When he did something really bad, like decided to jump a kid in the back of the school because the kid was bullying him and others, I showed him what jail was like because of bad choice. I then went jail time was completed i asked him did you ever ask the boy why he was so mad find out if he wanted to play with you try to get get to know him try to change the boy <clears throat> bullies by getting to know him my son said no the next day he did the boy and him became best friends oh that's ooh, that's good they became good friends the boy didn't have a dad my son had a habit of take, talking about his dad or things he had. Unfortunately, the boy didn't know, oh, and he probably didn't, you know, like like him talking, like maybe envious of him. Children can react so different to many things, but as I told my son, just showing love and asking questions or being a friend can go a long way, and that is so true. Love. Love, love can reach us all. Um, okay, let's see. Hey, Charles, you snuck up in here. How are you this evening? Hey, Wendy. Wendy says, hi, always toilet just before bed and limit water. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, liquid after dinner. Toilet first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, Leslie, um, where are you at? Are you in the watch party regular? Okay, uh, Wendy, you hear this suggestion that Wendy 
made is to toilet just before bed. So make her go to the toilet just before bed and limit the water intake or um, the uh, liquid, any type of li liquid before bed. And first thing in the morning, definitely. Pam says he relied, yeah. See, Pam, I, that's the same with DeAndre. And like I said, if I bought pull-ups right now today, he would take the pull-up over the underwear. You have to keep him out of his eyesight. So it's like out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. Mark says, oh, he has no sense. Okay, okay, to go. But he will sit there and we have just changed him and he will say, I'm wet. Okay. Okay. I see what you're saying now. Hey, Christina. Christina says, when potty training my son, I would make sure he stopped drinking anything at least an hour. Wait a minute, I'm losing it. An hour before bed, then take him to the bathroom right before bed. That seemed to work, but we still haven't had an occasional accident. We finally just had to rip, rip of, had to rip off the band-aid, okay, and toss the pull-ups, yeah, and deal with the accidents, explain to him that he's a big boy now, and big boys use the potty. Yep, gotta let go of them. Hey, Shell. Shell says, I'm new to your page. Hello, my son is three and has autism. Well, welcome, Shell. Um, we try to do these sessions every Sunday, this specific Sunday Live. Let's talk um, autism every Sunday, so make sure you join us. And please, if you guys are here and you guys are in the main um, the main uh, live on the main page, hit that bell. It's at the top for notifications. Um, let me see. Yep, yeah. and it should say when, when you hit the bell, it should say all get notified whenever we go live. So hit that bell up there and get notified whenever we go live so you'll never um, miss a session. And yeah, most of the times I do pop-ups so um, you can join me in the pop-ups. But welcome, Shell. Welcome. Anna says, get him on a schedule at night and keep it. Yeah, you definitely have to be consistent. And I was responding to the lady who was talking about her child. Oh, okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. Shell says, my son is very aggressive at times. I get very overwhelmed because he is not verbal. I'm new to all of this. And as others have said before, the frustration, it, that aggressiveness could be um, built up frustration because he can't verbalize what he's feeling and maybe he wants to say something and that's the only way, you know, to get it out. But maybe someone can give you some tips on how to um, handle that. Hey, Kat, how are you? Okay, Shanti says, I was able to potty train my son with ASD <clears throat> by using a gold chart. We made with their names on it. Every time they went to the bathroom, they would get a small reward. My son understood B when he went, he got a reward. When he moved to the top of the chart, slowly I removed the toy rewards to dancing, high fives, and great jobs. Eventually was going on his own at home and in school. At night, I have to get, get him up. At night to go to the bathroom, I do limit what they drink at night and go to the bathroom before bed. Skylar get night terrors, which causes accident because of this. I still get them up at night. Okay. Yeah, I, I would get DeAndre. I had started doing that too. I would wake him up like 1 o'clock in the morning. Let's go to the bathroom. Good thing is he would go right back to sleep. He would use it and be ready to go too. Walk him back to the bed and he was good. But yeah, those are some great tips, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Hey, Dinah. Dinah, I got your order. 
uh, it's in and it's ready to be sent out to you. Although you may get it separately. I don't know why it come like that, but it, it'll be on its way soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, hanging tough like always. Okay. Okay. Thanks, everyone. I have to step out. Boys need baths. Thank you, Michelle, for tuning in. Michelle says, I know that, and it makes me sad when I can't help them like I want to. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, keep working with them, Shell. Um, as we were saying before, it's, it's possible for them to start talking, and then some of that um, aggression may subside. But don't um, lose faith. Don't lose faith. Because, like I said, my son was mute for years. And it was just a couple years ago when he said his first words. So, and now we still have a, a problem um, figuring out some of the things he says. But he is starting to say like two and three words at a time. So, it'll happen. It Shantae says... Shanti says it's good to use emotion charts. It helps them explain what they they are feeling. Yep. Um, now they use those in school, in the school too. Um, she has like the sad face, the happy face. How are you feeling today? And they have to point, you know, if they're sick, if they're happy, if they're feeling sad. So yeah, that's a great idea. Anna says, my niece just spoke to me. She's staying She's staying with me this weekend and just now said, auntie, she was diagnosed with being nonverbal. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful feeling. Della says, some kids doesn't have the conception of going to the potty. Depend yeah, and they just might not be ready. Just might not be ready. Um... Cat said, oh, you're talking to Anna. Okay. Great job, Anna. Yeah, that's that's a wonderful thing. That's fine, love. Thank you, Dinah. Thank you again. <clears throat> Charles says, when I was little, my parents got me up to go to the bathroom just before they went to bed. Later, mom only had to remind me to go to the bathroom just before bedtime every night. Yeah. It was a consistent thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you're doing better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. This has been a great session. I'm sorry about the hiccup earlier. As you know, I wanted to keep up. I did lose some stuff. So if I missed you, I am so sorry. Because Facebook just didn't want me to be great in that watch party. It would not let me scroll until I got the other phone. So I had to use the other phone just to make sure to keep up with the comments. I'd like to thank each and every one of you. Um, I'll be, I'll have the phone ready next, next uh, Sunday so I can be prepared with the watch party. But make sure you hit that bell at the top so you can get that notifications. Feel free to share this live. From the main page, if you're on the main page, even after I log off, you can share, share, share. We want to get this all as many places as we possibly can. And I have pinned the YouTube page at the bottom because we're trying to use, going to be using, you know, as many platforms as we can. Once we get to 100 subscribers over at YouTube, we will be doing these sessions over there for YouTubers as well as over here. So we'll be rotating. We'll still have random lives inside the support group. Um, Linda will be doing those um, as well. But we want to use both YouTube and Facebook. So if you get a chance and you have a YouTube page, feel free. I have a post under the announcement section. You can share your link under there. If you don't have a YouTube page and you just watch YouTube videos, Please subscribe. Help us re reach that 100 uh, subscriber over there so we can start doing uh, live sessions over there. Nita, I subscribe to you. Oh, thank you, Dinah. You are awesome. 
Thank you. Um, Victoria says, my Declan is nonverbal, but as much as he babbles and makes sounds for words, I am sure he will be verbal. Yes. Keep that faith. Keep that faith. Keep it. Della, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, Mark says, we have a routine at home from our time, 6 p.m. at night. Shut off all computers and tablets. We give my son two hours to chill out. Yeah. The TV on, but low volume lights. Low, but we need still to change his nappy. Hope this helps. Yeah, routines, routines. Thank you, Anna. Bye. And I'm also looking for people for Focus Live. So if you're interested in doing a Focus Live topic over in the discussions group, <clears throat> please let me know. We're trying to fill up for November and December. Thank you, Anna. Thank you all. Um, Shanti, thank you. I really appreciate it. Della, of course, you know I appreciate you. Anna, thank you. Shell, thank you for joining us. Kat, uh, Dinah, Victoria, uh, Charles, thank you guys so much. Leslie, um, who else? Veronica. Madison, if you're still here, thank you for tuning in. Trisha, thank you. Sonia, if you're still here, of course you, Mark. Thank you all. And again, I'm sorry if I did not. Hey, and Wendy, Pam, of course, thank you. I'm so sorry, Pam. Um, if I didn't um, get to any of your comments, it's because, like I said, Facebook wouldn't let me be great over in the watch party. But I tried to get to as many as I could. I appreciate you all. Meet me. Join me again next Sunday. The same time. <clears throat> I'll be better prepared. Um, and don't forget to please subscribe to the YouTube channel. So we can do sessions like this over there. Remember, it's open discussions. It's all about parents helping parents. Chiming in in, in the chat. And I'll help where I can. Uh, Linda will hopefully be able to tune in with me next Sunday. Um, she's on her way to Japan, so she couldn't be here this Sunday. But once again, I appreciate you all, and please have a great night. And don't stop the discussions. You have something else you, you want answered, post it in the group. And I will see you guys later. Thank you.